Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, so am I, what am I doing inside of a salt tank today, right? Well, I'm talking about toxins. What do water softeners really take out? And if they take out all the toxins out of the water. So I want to clarify this because we get a lot of messages that are like, hey, is it safe to drink if I get a certified NSF 44 unit? Is it going to be make my water great to drink? And so we want to clarify all the confusion out there um, because a water softener is designed to take the rock out, right? That's what it's designed to do. See that rock? It's designed to actually, as that rock, which is attached to the water droplet, passes through the filter material, the rock attaches to the filter material. Great concept, right? And by the way, just so that you know how they work, right? This salt tank, this is where you keep all the salt, would be connected to a water softener. And what would happen is during the evening, usually at two o'clock in the morning, this unit would go through a cleaning cycle and it would draw salt water out into the unit to clean the rock off the filter material and down the drain. Then at the end of the night, many cases or right before it goes into a cleaning cycle, it will put water in here to dissolve the salt that's necessary to clean the filter material. Again, that being the filter material. Now, when we look at a water drop, there's a lot of things on this guy. Right, there's the rock. There could be, I don't know, maybe iron. Maybe there's a contaminant. I just use this as a piece of red, you know, something red, just so that you can sort of see it. So we can't really see it, so it's microscopic, but there are small particles that are attached to water droplets. So if we just take a look at, I don't know, um, in Chicagoland, we have radium 228 and 226. A lot of the United States actually has that, or they have barium in the water. So these are radiological contaminants that basically come from the earth. So they try to percolate themselves out. I got explained this by an EPA um, agent one time who explained to me, the radium is like volatile and it's under the earth and it's trying to get back up to the atmosphere. Uh, how it got here, there's some theories on that. There was back when the asteroids were hitting this planet, they left the radium behind. So whatever the reason is, there's radium under the feet that we're standing and the aquifers are also under there. So as the radium percolates up through the water, whether it's in a lake like Lake Michigan um, or an aquifer, it gets attached to that. Maybe also as that water's sitting in there, it becomes attached to barium. And also since it's sitting in the aquifer, which is always, almost always made of bedrock, right? The rock attaches to it. Now there's other things that can get attached to it, but those are the ones that we know a water softener can take out. That's it. So it's not certified to take out, I don't know, trihalomethylenes. Maybe if we're looking at vinyl chloride, hexavalent chromium 6, forever chemicals, you know, we can go mercury in Chicago. Oh my God, it's so silly. And mer <laughs> it's what an off subject, right? The Lake Michigan is lined with, uh, with coal fire power plants. And where do they dump their mercury? In Lake Michigan. So you can't eat the fish, the deep, uh, uh, dwelling fish and most of the fish from Lake Michigan, but they say you can drink the water. <laughs> that's the EPA for you. Anyhow, uh, that's something that just makes your eyes widen up and says, okay, what should we do? Well, you need to get educated as to what you can do for your family. A water softener will take out a couple of the contaminants. Now, there's a variety of contaminants that, are get, that can get in the water. You can check out our EWG. I do a little video on what's contaminants are in your water, you can check out that video. We'll post a link below. Um, but you can also go to the EWG website. We'll post a link below so that you can actually pick the right, uh, go find out what's in your water. Now, what's great about a NSF 44 certified water softener, that would be sort of like this guy here. This is made by EcoWater. Uh, NSF certified means that the filter material, which is, again, this resin in this glass container here, we made it glass so you can see it. We can actually see the filter material because so many people just, they look at a picture and they're like, oh my God, you know, they all look the same. They're all about the same size. Well, no, look, they're gigantically different. You got these small little guys and we have a bunch of those. They don't do anything. We have the little guys over there, the big box stores that sell them. They don't do anything uh, really. Or you can get a bigger system, some of the higher quality systems that are out there. 
Kinetico is one, uh, EcoWater is another one. Um, so these are professional grade pieces of equipment that are actually very, very good. Now, the idea is, is that these water softeners can start to take things out of the water. So let's go back to our friendly little H2O guy here. So when we look at getting contaminants off of the water, we like to be able to take filter the largest items off the water first. So the largest items attached to the water droplet would be rock, okay, pretty simple, and iron that would be in the water. So that iron or rock would be attached to the water droplet. So we always want to get that out first. After we get those things out, then we can start to look at some of the contaminants like hexavalent chromium-6. We can take a look at uh, forever chemicals. We can look at mercury. We can look at lead. We can look at a lot of other things. But the three, the, the things that we want to take a look at first and foremost would be the rock and the radium. Now, the reason why we say that is because a good quality water softener will take that out. By the way, a good quality water softener that uses um, cross-link resin can also take out iron. Now, there's a different types of iron, so you can take a look at our iron video, uh, which we'll put a link in below as well. That iron video will also teach you what it can, what kind of iron you can take out, and what kind of iron you can't take out. So, a good quality water softener can do a little bit more. So, we're looking at a water softener can take out calcium. It could take out iron, possibly. It takes out radium 228, 226, and it takes out barium. Now, here's a great story. So, so you can understand the importance of this. We are contracted by a community called Royal Melbourne. Royal Melbourne um, had a deep well drilled for the community. It's like 240, 260 homes, something like that. And when they drilled that aquifer, what happened when they brought the water up? Guess what? Not only did it have that rock, but it also had that radium. Now, they add chlorine to the water and then send that out to everybody's home. So now, what was happening is they said, oh my God, that's toxic. It's above the EPA standards. Which, by the way, was set in 1972 and updated in 1984. Yeah, we don't really know about health that well. That was, what, 40 years ago? So today, we know that the standards, in theory, should be a little bit more strict. That's why the EWG website is a great website to go to, because their scientists have, have updated that the listing and it will, it is a little, you'll find a lot more locations across the country that are above what the e, EWG recommends. Now, you gotta understand, the cities, these communities, they just simply can't take out everything. I mean, we're talking about, let me just give it a put in perspective for you. Out of all the water that Jardine water produ plant produces, which is one billion gallons of water a day, more than, less than one, half of 1% is used for drinking water. Less than half of 1%. So less, a billion gallons of water and less than half of 1% actually gets drank. So how and why should we demand that of our, of our water authorities? Because as we, as a country, what have we done? We've allowed manufacturers to make all the stuff like for, like, let's use Forever Chemicals as an example. They use, uh, or, you know, it's, it comes from Teflon, or, uh, which is DuPont, or 3M, uh, which is a stain repellent, and they, they're able to put that down the sewer, which then got into the water supply. So here we have the government, which allowed that, but let's be realistic, all of us make up the government, right? We should have said something years ago. And we didn't. So now you are looking at how you can protect your family. And you want to be able to say, what can I do? We know that toxins are really bad for the body. We know that um, your body collects toxins, right? You're, you're just a living filter. Think about that for a second, a living filter. You, what you consume becomes you. As you probably heard in some of my videos, if, if Sadhguru says, if you eat a banana in four hours, you're the banana. If you drink a glass of water, in four minutes you're that glass of water. So, when we're looking at a water softener, what can it do? It can take out some toxins, only three, right? Radium-228, 226, and barium out of the water. That's about it. Now, NSF-44 certified means that that system can do it. We have systems, these uh, cheap ones in the back, that were made in China. No, they're not certified. Just so you know, as of this moment, there is no zero 
Chinese water softeners that are NSF 44 certified. Okay, why? Well, in this industry, you can take one of two perspectives. Go cheap, 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 and we're gonna sell all on price. That's an option for you as a consumer. Don't, you can plan on that unit lasting, I don't know if you, it depends on the water quality and how many people use the water, but we usually see them last a couple years, two, three years. So if you're selling the home, or maybe you're in a small condo, you live alone, it would last longer. But if you're looking to invest in something to protect your family, if you're looking in something to protect your home, you're looking for something that's gonna last, then that NSF 44 certification is pretty important to do because that dictates that the manufacturer, let's pretend that this is the guy, the manufacturer paid National Sanitation Foundation to throw thousands, thousands of gallons of water at this guy with that toxin attached to it, thousands. And then they tested it afterwards, and guess what? Poof, it's gone. And what we know, being in the business for over 25 years, is that we know that the higher quality systems that yes, cost a little more money, they last longer and they're NSF 44 certified. So that means that this filter material is high quality, made in America or made in Canada, and it's really high quality equipment, and, it, and the filter material is the most important part because the control valve is important, but it's not really what's important. It's the size of the tank, it's the quality of the filter material, because then we know that it is going to take out these things that we don't want. So if you're looking for a good quality water softener, then look for that NSF 44 certification. Look for the fact that it's made in America. The top two ones as far as salt efficiency goes, EcoWater Kinetico seems to be the ones that win the battle. Um, we love the fact that EcoWater is made in America and we love the larger tank on it. By the way, small mention, in many cases, a good quality unit like EcoWater does make one, a few other companies out there, Chandler has one as well, uh, which they actually take the resin, which is this material in here, and they layer it with carbon on top. Now let's ask ourselves, why would you want to do that? Well, if you live on city water and they add chlorine to the water, what's the number one thing that's a byproduct of that? Trihalomethylenes. Well, first of all, who wants to drink chlorine? If you read the side of the bottle, it says, danger, danger, don't consume, don't inhale. Uh, will cause death. I mean, it's like, you, so you shouldn't drink it out of the bottle, but yet they say that it's okay in small amounts. Well, small amounts, remember, if you're living filter, it builds up inside your body. So logic says, maybe you don't wanna drink that. And so that's why the honorable mention of this video will be the refiner that EcoWater has, which is, has carbon in it as well that absorbs some of that chlorine, absorbs the chlorine and helps reduce trihalomethylenes and other uh, chlorine byproducts from adding uh, chlorine to the water. So, honorable mention, just so you guys all know, if you live on city, you may want to consider that. If not, a independent filter that is layered with that filter material called carbon would be really, really great. By the way, honorable mention to carbon is that it does reduce some of the, the uh, forever chemicals, which is big in the environment or, or big in a big subject right now online. So that said, as you know, my overall goal at Angel Water and, uh, is to be able to teach you to drink more water. And you know, I'm Drew and I'm here to serve you.